Welcome to this video on the Concurrent Design Platform. What I will do during this video is basically give you a walkthrough through the application so that you can become familiar with it. What you see is that the application has a ribbon on the top uh, and these ribbons have different buttons and I will walk you through all of them. Um, so on the home tab, you have the connect button, uh, which is the first button that you will actually have to use. It's to connect to a live data source or to a CDP for server uh, and before I show you the different tabs and the different things that you can do, I will go ahead and connect with a server. Um, and this is the public server um, that you can find uh, described uh, online. And I'll put the uh, URL in the comments below um, so that you can play with it as well. So once I've put in the name, the username and password, I click on OK and it loads the first bits of data. And what you may have noticed is that the open uh, button has become active and this is actually uh, where I will actually go and open a new engineering model. Um, next thing that I can show you is the reference data tab. Here you see um, different things that you can do with reference data and reference data is that kind of data that is reused between different models or between different projects and it's data like uh, the definition of what means to be mass linked width and height those things are called parameter types but also scales and units such as the definition of what it means to be kilogram and meter and also categories that you can use to add more semantics to a model and i'll show you that in a later video uh, then we can also see the view tab where we can uh, select to show or not show deprecated things uh, a property grid that we get more properties of anything that we select in the views uh, and also the log panel where we can see all the logging that cdp4 does when we interact with it then there's also the model tab which now is inactive that's because we haven't yet opened the model so before i continue with my explanation i go back to the home tab i click on open to load the model that comes with the public server which is called loft uh, i open it and then I go back to the model tab and now you see that these buttons have become active and I will just open a couple of them so to give you an idea of what is in this model uh, and basically here you see all the building blocks that we use in this model but also the architecture or the product tree of this model and I'll put them side by side uh, where you can see the complete breakdown of this design so you see that we have the loft mission which contains a satellite um, which then in turn contains many different things such as batteries, etc. Um, then there's also the directory tab. Uh, here you can see a list of all the models that exist on the server that we connected to, but also a list of all the users that are active uh, or that exist on this server. In this case, there's only one uh, user that has been assigned as model administrator to a demo model and a loft model. Um, there's also the requirements tab where you can basically manage requirements so you can create requirement specifications and even link the requirements to uh, the design that you make for automated uh, requirements verification and even import and export to and from uh, RecIF uh, which is an open standard for exchange of requirements uh, information. Then there's also the built-in rules which basically uh, allow you to check the quality of a model so to make sure that the model that a team has built is according to the rules that you specify and then also the scripting tab uh, where you can uh, basically interact with the scripting engine um, that today supports python scripting so you can basically write really fancy uh, python scripts to uh, use the data that the team generates um, i think that's it for now you have a bit of an idea of all the different ribbons um, and before i close this video i will disconnect from the server uh, and then we can close the application. Thanks for watching and see you next time.